today we'll get to the uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. It's, uh, Jesus is uh, talking about uh, John the Baptist. Very interesting uh, thing Jesus is telling us here. And Jesus says, and from the days of the John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. It's a very strange expression. How can kingdom of heaven be suffering from <laughs> violence? It's strange, so strange. What, what Jesus is talking about? And then Jesus says, and the violent take it by, by force. Since when? Since John the Baptist. And uh, until today. The, today is uh, the day Jesus is uh, uh, telling us about this. Do you have any idea what Jesus is talking about? Violence. Uh, in Korean, it says, Chimno. Chimno hata. Invade. Chodroda. So, Kingdom of Heaven is suffering from uh, invasion, violent invasion. I couldn't understand for a long time. And then next verse says, For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. All the prophets means all the uh, uh, prophet, prophet El uh, Elijah, uh, uh, Jeremiah, prophet Isaiah, all the prophets were prophesied until John. All the prophet and prophets are prophesying uh, oh, 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 about what? Jesus. About Jesus coming. So what Jesus is telling us is the what? The John the Baptist is the last, the last prophet uh, who prophesy about uh, his. Coming, Jesus coming. That's what it is. Okay, all the prophet and the, and the what law, all the prophet and the law. Law means what? The law of Moses, and so law also signifies Moses. All the prophet and the Moses. Uh, prophesied until John. So even the law of Moses is really a prophet. Uh, I mean, prophecy, which is what? Promise. God's promise that I will send my son Jesus to, to you to save you. Why? Because you cannot, you cannot uh, obey the law of Moses. You are under the sin. You are under the law. The law which you cannot obey. So that's why I have to send my son to die for you, to save you. Okay, uh, and uh, so and 
you, if you are willing to receive it, that he is Elijah who is to come. Uh, what he's saying is, okay, if you want to accept this, uh, let me tell you this. Uh, John the Baptist is the what? That Elijah to come. So John the Baptist uh, symbolizes Elijah. That means John the Baptist symbolizes all the prophets. Because Elijah is the one who symbolizes all other prophets too. So then, uh, so Jesus is saying, uh, uh, see, the prophet, uh, prophet Malachi, uh, the last prophet, uh, and he uh, prophesied that Elijah is coming. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I will send you, God is uh, promising, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So before Jesus comes, Elijah, I will send you Elijah. Uh, for what? So, uh, John the Baptist, as Elijah came, and uh, prepare the way of the Jesus. Okay. Uh, also, book of John, uh, uh, Jesus says, "You search the Scripture. Scripture means Bible. Okay, and Bible means what?" At that time, there's no te no New Testament. So when Jesus talking about the Scripture, the Scripture that means all Old Testament. Okay, so Old Testament include what? Include Moses and Elijah, uh, Moses and the other uh, prophets. So. Moses and other uh, prophets, in them means in the scripture, in the Bible, in the Moses and the prophet. In them, you think you have eternal life. So, in the Moses life, uh, uh, Moses law, and in the, all the prophet, uh, prophecy is talking about who's coming? Jesus coming. So Jesus coming to give what? Eternal life. Okay. So, and these, uh, and these are, these are means uh, the, the Moses and the uh, prophets, these are they which testify of me. That means uh, all Moses' law and the prophecies, all testified of me, means all it, 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 it all talk about God is promising you that I will come. I am the Son of God. And then save you from the what? From the sin, from the law which you cannot obey. Okay? And the next verse, verse 40 says, But you are not willing to come to me. Ah. Uh, they want to stay with what? Uh, the, 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 Israelite, the Israelites are not willing to come to Jesus from whom? From Moses. That means from the law of Moses to what? To the grace of Jesus, love of Jesus. They keep on what? Uh, 
they want to keep on staying. Uh, we need Moses. We want to keep. We want to keep the law of Moses, without knowing. They cannot obey the Moses law, right? So, uh, what Jesus is trying to tell them is, now you've been, you have been, you have been having uh, so much difficulty. You you are suffering. You are now. Tired with with what this heavy load of the Moses law. Now I came here to take your load of the Moses law upon my shoulder, and that I died for you. Now, then I will give you rest. Yeah. Okay. But you are not willing to come to me. You want to stay on what? Moses' law, and you are, you are still trying to uh, be saved by keeping the Moses' law. That's what Jesus is saying. Okay. Now, okay. Um, now, Mark chapter 9, verse 2. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, and led them uh, up on a high mountain, uh, apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before, uh, before them. Okay, Jesus uh, took the John, Peter, and James. And then, in front of them, Jesus transfigured. Changed suddenly. His clothes, Jesus' clothes become shining and exceedingly white. Like snow, such as no launder on earth can uh, whiten them, whiten them. So white. The white symbolizes what? Uh, righteousness. Okay. And, and Jesus was so whitened. What is trying Jesus to do to these disciples? John, Peter, and James. Think about this. Suddenly Jesus become so white and the shiny. Then Elijah appeared to them with Moses. Now here again, prophet and the law. Okay, the prophet, all the prophet and the prophecy and what? Law of Moses. It's a very symbolic uh, scene right now. Okay. So Elijah appeared to them with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. Elijah, prophet, okay, and Moses, which is the law, and Jesus. They talk each other. Uh, this means what? This means all uh, Moses' law and the prophet's prophecy is uh, what? Is promising, revealing to the people that God promises that Son of God, Jesus, will be sent. They are all talking about what? Same thing. Okay. So they are not. They are not talking about something different. It's a, a Jesus, Elijah, Moses, all 
the content is all same. But it was difference is what? Just the process. Okay. And Elijah appeared to them with Moses and with Jesus. They were talking with Jesus. Now, then this is uh, something very important. All right, now, the Mark nine verse five. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, teacher, right, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles, and one for three tents, actually. One for you, one for Moses, and one for the Elijah. Then <laughs> Mark is uh, uh, putting some comment here, because he did not, who? Peter did not know what to say. Pedro는 뭣도 모르고 얘기했다 이딴 뜻입니다. He did not. Be, Peter really did not know what to. Uh, 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 what does really means? All he's seeing, you know. Wow, Elijah and Moses and Jesus talking together. Wow. What does it? What? What? What is this uh, symbol means? What this scene, entire scene, with Elijah, with Moses, with Jesus talking is the message. Uh, Jesus want those two uh, three disciples to really understand that I came here. Why? Because God uh, used the Moses and the, uh, to give you the Moses law to uh, to make you lead to come to whom to Jesus and the prophets same thing prophet always prophesied God will send you this his son Jesus so when Jesus come you all. Go to what? Jesus, you no longer have come to, have to come to me, uh, to, to, to Moses. Because, uh, Moses, Moses' work is what? Finished. Prophet's work was what? Finished. Be because what? I came. So, Moses and the prophets all talked about, all talked about God's promise that I will be here to save you, finally. <laughs> this is a great symbol. Hmm. So, Jesus wanted uh, this, uh, his disciples, three disciples, to really know uh, what the, um, who he is. Because I am the one. All those Moses law and uh, prophecies were talking about. Here I am. See? But uh, Peter did not get the message. Peter says, Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, Elijah is here. Oh, Moses is here. Oh, Jesus is here. And so, oh, I want to put the three, you know, tents, uh, and uh, uh, I want to stay with them. What did, you, did Peter did not know? Did not got got the point. Moses and the prophets are what? Their work is all done. So, 
prophet prophesied until John the Baptist. So uh, the prophets are all finished with what? John the Baptist. So now Jesus, now I came, uh, you know, all the prophecy of the prophet promised, and all the Moses law promised. Okay, I'm here. I'm so covenant. Uh, the promise is finally what fulfilled. Here I am. Now, so what Jesus want to tell them, the disciples. Now, don't pay any attention to the law and the prophecy because I'm here. See. So now, from now on, what you focus on me, you you don't have to worry about what Moses and the prophet here. Look at me; I'm the one who will save you. <laughs> and uh, verse seven and the. Suddenly, cloud came. Hmm. Cloud came and overshadowed them, and the voice came out of the cloud. It was God's voice telling to whom? To Peter, James, and John. And God says what? This is my beloved, beloved son. Hmm? Yes, with Jesus, he is my son. And, and then says what? Hear him. You have been hearing from what? Moses and all the prophets? For a long time. Now, this is what? That's the end. Why? Because I sent my son to you. See? Yeah. Yeah. So, law and the prophecy is all over now. Hear him. Just what? Just listen to Jesus, my son. That's, that'll be Enough. Okay. So this is why that uh, uh, it, it, even though God told them, uh, but the people still say, "Oh, oh, oh you know." Oh, but still you have to get the what circumcision done. You know, still you have to keep the Sabbath and so on. But God is saying, don't do it. Just listen to my son. Okay. The Moses time and the prophet's time is over. Okay. So, anyway, whose word is more important? Jesus' word now. Okay. Yeah. Don't pay attention now. Time is over. Jesus came. God finally kept His promise to send His Son Jesus to us. Okay. Suddenly, when they had looked around, so after God says, "From the cloud, He is my Son." Listen to Him. Then suddenly, cloud disappeared. And guess what happened? All of a sudden, they looked, looked around, and they saw no one anymore. No one anymore means what? Uh, Moses and Eliza disappeared. Gone. And then only what? Only Jesus was with them. 
This is strong message, right? So law, all the Moses law has been fulfilled because I came. I kept God, my father kept promise with you. Also, all the prophet is now gone. Why? Because my father kept his promise. He gave through the prophet, prophet, and this is done. Here is my son is here with you. And now, from now on, only what? Listen to my son. This is the gospel. Okay. Okay. Now, so, what the message is this, really? Then Paul uh, follows up uh, this message of uh, God, that just listen to my son. Uh, the purpose of then uh, does the law serve? Uh, what was the purpose of giving the law of Moses to you, to the people? Uh, says it was added because of transgression, till the what? Till the seed should come to whom the pro uh, the promise was made. What is seed? The seed is Jesus. Uh, the law was effective until what? Uh, Jesus came. The seed came. It's the same message. Okay. Uh, and then, look at that. The scripture has confined uh, here. Uh, confined all under sin. Uh, no, this is a little bit difficult for us. That this is more easier to understand. But before faith come, before uh, this is here, before faith come, came, uh, oh, came, we were uh, we were kept under under God by the what? By the law. Before Jesus came, before faith came, we were kept under the law of Moses. Why it says we were kept under the law? Because, because we cannot obey those laws, right? So before the faith came, we were kept under God by the law, kept for the faith which would afterward be revealed. Okay. Now, in a different expression here, translation, uh, but the scripture has imprisoned all under the power of sin. The scripture, the Moses law, kept us, imprisoned us in the, uh, in the sin. That means that law was not what? Uh, was not obeyable. You cannot obey the law. That's why, since if you can obey the law, then you are not a sinner. Now, you cannot obey the law, you, you are a sinner. So, God gave you that law, Moses' law, kept you, imprisoned you in the sin for a long time. Until when? Until Jesus come. Right? Yeah. And Paul also says, now, before faith came, Jesus came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Just same expression. And Paul says in Romans chapter 11, verse 32, for God has committed them all to disobedience. Here, a different translation. For God has imprisoned all, all of us in disobedience. Prisoned us in, uh, in disobedience means what? The law I gave you through Moses, 
you cannot obey. <laughs> so you are imprisoned under what? Disobedience. That, that means I gave you the law which you cannot obey. For what? For what reason? To let you know you are a sinner. You need me to be saved, not by the law, because the law, you can't do anything. Okay, now, now let's go back. I want to explain you uh, the violence, okay? And from days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take by force. Ah, what this violence means? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> violence means before, before Jesus came, before the uh, Jesus came to set free people, all the sinners, set free from what? Moses' law, the law of sin and the death, okay? Which is, you find, uh, Roman chapter 8, verse 2, right? Uh, Paul says, uh, uh, the, law, the law of spirit and the life in Jesus set me free from, what? Set me free from law, the law of sin and death, which is law of Moses. Very simple, right? It's the same thing. You, you can see that the Bible everywhere sort of talking about the same thing over and over again. The message is what? I was the one to, uh, I gave you the law of Moses, which you cannot uh, obey. Why? I, I wanted to let you know you need me because you cannot save yourself with the law of Moses. That's why you need me. So uh, if you discover, you, you find that you cannot obey any law, then you will know you are so sinful. Your nature is a sinful nature. Then there's no other way to be saved. Then you'll find me. I came to die for you and to save you. Okay. So now, before Jesus came, uh, no one can invade a force into the what? Kingdom of heaven. Why? Because they could not keep the law. They are not able to obey the law. Hmm. But now, Jesus came to set them free from the what? The law of Moses. Then people says what? Wah! Then we all can go to heaven because Jesus will die for us. Let's go! Whoa, to heaven, kingdom of heaven. This is what Jesus is talking about. It is what? It is grace. Grace will help them all to the what? Kingdom of heaven. So whoever, what? Uh, realized that, whoever found out, let's go everyone. Just like who? That, uh, uh, harlot in the Samaria. You are the Messiah, which I was waiting for, for a long time. Wow! So, what did she do? She lived the, what? The, uh, mm, mm, water. Yeah, water. Mm -hmm. She's just, she didn't care the water anymore. She just went into the town and said, My Messiah, I met Messiah. He saved me today. You know, this is what 
uh, violence <laughs> means Jesus is expressing uh, in, in a sort of what uh, comic way. So, uh, so kingdom of heaven is suffering, yeah. Uh, and so I explain this way, a somewhat uh, comic way, that uh, uh, a fa father uh, went to America for business trip, and uh, he had a little little son, and he he bought very very uh, you know good toys in America, and then uh, he mentioned that to his son, and his son in Korea was waiting for him, and finally uh, they got to airport, and father came. And uh, uh, son says, where's that toy? Give it to me. Father says, nope. Okay, no, and uh, you have to fight me, and so if you can, uh, w you can win, then I will give you the tie. And so, okay, wrestling. What father will do? He will what? Pretend. The son defeated him, <laughs> right? So says, and son, no, the father is stronger than he is. However, son knows that he he will win. Why? Because father will let them win. <laughs> so fathers, oh, okay, okay, you win. So father take the the toy. Now his son was really waiting for a long time, and then give it to him. Uh, so uh, that means what? Son violently took the toy from father. That's what it means. See, but it was not that God got defeated. But God, gracefully, see, and the son believed he will win, right? And he can, he can take uh, that toy from father. Why? Why? Because son believes father, he loves me, even though he is much stronger than I am. He will let me have that uh, toy. Yeah. That's the salvation means. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So, uh, uh, boy, it, it give me joy, you know. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, the only way for us to, uh, can uh, enter into the kingdom of heaven is what? By faith, uh, okay. And uh, our if if anyone says no, you uh, uh, saying you cannot come into kingdom heaven, and then I'll say what? Get out of here! That uh, God promised me, and He loves me, and I know I'm not deserve the kingdom of heaven, but I believe God is waiting for me because he, you know, he sacrificed his son for me by faith. So, I wish you have, uh, uh, you'll become violent. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you.